I can't stand intros. Hey, greetings and good day one and all. I hope you're having a great day. I'm going to make this as fast as I possibly can. My top five stockman patterns of 2020, starting off with my dishonorable mention. It is the Elk Ridge stockman with the absolutely chunky missing pieces of wood. I thought that was actually part of it, but I was way off. Uh, the one saving feature of this is the point. It has a really good point, and I like a knife with a point. It has it. So thank you, Elk Ridge, and um, just goodbye, Elk Ridge. Okay, so honorable mentions. Okay, let's start with the first one. It's the Rough Rider Sowbelly Stockman. I like pretty much everything about this, especially the yellow Delrin. I think it's Delrin. I want to say Delrin. I don't know. Um, I do want to say that the pull is strong. And I do like the half stops. But the pull is just a little bit strong for me. Um, also, I do like the shape of the sheep's foot with that little swedge going on. Actually, I, were, I wish more sheep's foot had that shape. So, one more honorable mention. It has to be this case Stockman, medium Stockman. Uh, it falls into this, I think it's amber jig bone, by the way. It falls into the honorable mention because when I got it, every blade was um, um, rolled. So they were, I needed to put this thing on the Edge Pro. And uh, I did bring all the edges razor sharp, but I could never get a point on this. No matter how I tried, I could not get a point. It, it bothered me. And the scratching, which is normal on most stockmen, um, this one was just a little bit too much. So everyone said send it, ba send it back, but of course I just, I don't roll that way. I try to make it better if I can. Uh, this one I did make better, except the scratches it's, I couldn't do much with. Uh, one last honorable mention, and it's more of a sentimental thing. This is an old Schrade old timer. Uh, it's been in my pocket, not so much these days, but it was in my pocket during my 20s. And I was in the military in my 20s. So I have a lot of memories, and I got a couple of really good stories that kind of go with this knife. Uh, it's the old... Uh, carbon carbon steel and I just I like it well I just like it for a lot of reasons like I said Stockman is my favorite shape so top five makes sense and this was part of it um, I had ones that were prior to this in my teens and younger uh, they're long gone so but anyway so that is the old timer let's go to number five number five in my top five Stockman is going to be the Rough Rider uh, with the Glow. I want to say Stay Glow, but I think that's a uh, Victorinox thing. All I remember is Glow, so they do Glow. Uh, just move it over here for a bit. and eh, Not a very good example. I like the size. This is about the size of my favorite size. No half stop. That was surprising. But uh, we do have a point. And everything is equal as far as the walk and talk. And it's in the top five because it's, I don't know, is there something about the, gl the glow, that green thing? It's, I know it's cheesy. You might be thinking it's cheesy. But I like it. So anyway, that's uh, number five. Uh, coming in at number four, mm, kind of going off. All right, let's go this way. Let's make the jumbo number four. Uh, yeah, we'll make the jumbo number four. This is a new one. I showed this in a video not too long ago. Uh, extremely tight. This could have the best fit and finish in the Rough Riders. It could, it's really close. 
And I'm really attracted to the double nail nick on the main blade, and I like the shape of the main blade. And the half stops are awesome. Everything about this is good. Price. Uh, check this out. Where is it? This one. Look at this. Yeah, sorry for the smudges. I can't do anything about that. Um, obviously, because of the size, you know, I'll put it in at number four. But otherwise, I, I really, really like this knife. I, well, I like a big knife. So that's number four. Coming in at number three is the Case Large Stockman. It's not a jumbo Stockman. It's just a Case Large Stockman, the yellow Delrin, and the chrome vanadium steel. No half stop. But a gorgeous knife. Again, I'm a sucker for this yellow plastic. Very nice. Chrome vanadium. Yeah, I can get these uh, blades. I think these are the only ones that are chrome vanadium. Uh, maybe that other trapper over there, but I can get them screaming sharp. Uh, coming in at number two is the Hen and Rooster with the swirl pearl. When I was uh, a kid, I saw a set of drums with that finish, and of course I was totally attracted. It's like I had to have those drums. I never did get those drums, but man, I liked them. And <laughs> so maybe that's one of the reasons why this is number two. The fit on this is amazing, the finish as well. Uh, it's, it's, it's a step above the Rough Riders, and I think it's German. I don't, don't quote me on where it's made. It could be made in China too, I don't know. But somewhere on here I did see Solagen right there. Let's see if I can't get in on it. So I'm thinking Germany, but you can correct me if you know better than me. I don't really know much. I, So anyway, Swirl Pearl, that's what I call it. I don't know. And it's just about the perfect size. And that's the uh, Stockman. And of course, coming in at number one, shouldn't be too much of a surprise. It's this Rough Rider in some kind of a bone finish. And get in on that. Uh, and you can see the Rough Rider with the R.I. And it's got a titanium, beautiful half stop, a titanium finish of some kind. It, it could just be a coating, you know, very inexpensive, but done really well. To me, it's a good looking knife. It comes in at number one because it hits all the sweet spots. You know, it's got the point, it's got the half stop. It, uh, It's got a really nice sheep's foot with a point. And uh, I can't say enough about that one. Number one, yeah, no half stop here. Otherwise, I think this one would be pretty close to being number one. Now, these are just my opinions and, and, and my favorites. Yeah, you're gonna have your own. And uh, you can always let me know what your top five are. Uh, maybe there's something in here that you would rearrange. Maybe you would put, oh, maybe you'd put the case at number one, right? Because uh, there's some hardcore case people out there. Uh, you're, you would be considered hard cases. So, um, but uh, I'm a basket case. <laughs> so there you go. That's my five. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm probably going to do a buck top five folder coming up pretty soon and let me know if you want uh, top five spider co top five zt uh, top five uh, uh, fixed plays i've already done uh, top five uh, i don't know like survival knives or top five kukris or something like that let me know i think that's pretty much it i'm going to run this out dry 
and then I'll get back into my woods videos and my music videos and stuff like that. And if you want me to zero in on anything a little bit more rather than the top five theme, uh, let me know. All right? Give her one of these or give her one of these. Makes me happy either way. Have a great day.